803 now. New on daybreak, students at DePaul University are reacting to the closure of part of the investigation into racially charged vandalism on campus. The investigation thrust the school into a national spotlight last month. Drew Blair joins us live in Greencastle talking with people at the school this morning. Drew? Yes, good morning. That new reaction is mixed with emotions of both relief and sadness that while students tell me that they're glad to know the people responsible may have been caught, the mentalities motivating the vandalism in the first place still exist. I want to show you some of the messages that we were shown in the last couple of weeks on campus. Those accused are underage, so officials are not releasing much about them right now. We don't know if they are kids or teenagers. The director of public safety for DePaul's campus sent an email to faculty, staff, and students late yesterday announcing at least part of the investigation had concluded. The development center specifically on a message discovered in the DePaul Nature Park. That's where police say the N word was spelled out in rocks. Now we don't know if that case is connected with all the other instances of vandalism messages scrawled on different pieces of property around campus. The students I talked to say they're disheartened by the age of the people accused. It is a little disheartening, but I think that since they're younger, they have the chance to educate themselves. And that's the biggest thing about this situation is that everyone needs to educate themselves, even if you don't think you need to. So hopefully, um, since they're younger, they'll have more opportunity. Yeah. It's just, it's kind of disgusting to think that people think about other people this way. And like, it's a big problem that's like not being really addressed as well as a lot of people wish it would be. And just on top of like just acts of anti-semitism you know racism like there's no place for that on this campus Now, the campus newspaper is reporting that this case has been forwarded to the Putnam County Prosecutor's Office. I'm making a call now that that office is open for the morning, and I'll report back to you guys. We don't know whether the people identified have been arrested or formally charged yet, but this is a story we'll continue to update. Scott and Kylie. Absolutely. Had a lot of people on edge there. Drew, thank you.